season going really well. We're into uh, week five now, and uh, we're, we're probably ahead of where we would like to be at this moment. You know, we're coming now into the week before we start playing our pre-season games. Can't really mimic the, the the pressures and the focus that comes with a uh, with league rugby and Premiership rugby. But uh, we'll, we'll take a lot out of it. We've got some exciting games. There was a lot of disappointment after we lost the final. Um, but also on reflection, I think the, 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 the squad and the players and everybody involved at the club was very proud in the way we played our rugby last year. I think it's really about taking forward now the way we like to play our rugby. It's obviously expansive, it's entertaining. But what we've got to make sure of is we do our work behind the scenes with Mark coming in. Obviously, he's a great guy, first and foremost. He's got a lot of experience. He's going to mix his playing and, and coaching duties. You know, he's earning a terrific reputation as a coach in age grade. And what he'll what he'll do is have a another pair of eyes, if you like, on a set piece and and, and bring a lot more detail to to the to the sessions. And I think that's really important. Obviously, Chris is coming in as a defensive coach and very similar. You know, Chris is a great bloke. He's got a lot of uh, experience with the club. Very well respected on and off the field. You know, he's Aberavon through and through. Which is uh, which is, is is what we're looking for. Believes in the, the style of rugby we're trying to play, and uh, you know we've had some interesting meetings with Chris. He's got his views on how he wants us to defend. I think it'll be uh, it, it'll be good. You know, some exciting stuff coming in, and uh, looking forward to really seeing Chris now having uh, having time to, to work and structure the defence further. With, with James being club captain for for 2017-2018. He possesses all the qualities really that uh, as a coaching staff we want in our captain you know he puts the team first he's very thorough he prepares really well he's obviously taken over from you know a club legend in Ian Moore and you know I think uh, I think he's, he's he's played under Ian as captain so no doubt he would have absor absorbed what what Ian brought as captain and he'll mix that with his own qualities now and I think he'll make a great captain the semi-final and the final really showed you know what a great community Aberavon is you know it's uh, it's a tight-knit community and to turn out in the number for the semi-final and the final and you know the game was both games were live on TV and we still had huge numbers there really loud vocal supporters hopefully we'll have the same support this year and um, we can uh, we can reward the, the, those supporters with some really good performances all the new players that have come in um, have, have, have done themselves proud you know they, they're working really hard uh, every one of them you know even the youngsters that we've invited to train with us from local clubs we haven't had anybody that we've we've been disappointed in everyone's working hard the next uh, chapter now for the, for these players is to play in the the uh, the warm up games and, and and work hard to get a star a start in uh, berth against Bridgend. Our biggest challenge and our biggest opponents in many respects is ourselves. I think we've got total faith as a squad that if we play well, we're a very, very tough side to beat. We're a side that's not afraid to play rugby and, and that's what we've got to maintain.